very good afternoon to you and once again a warm welcome to Eastern Ethiopia. We are coming to you live from the Diridawa International Stadium as your World of Champions continues covering March 13 of the 2022-2023 Bet King Ethiopian Premier League. Adama City are in town, they are up against Diredawa. In many ways, it is 13th up against 5th, as tactically Etagesu and Dale takes on Jordanos Abe. And suddenly, a game like this could force one of the two into panic buttons. This has been given away in the opening few minutes. Big surprise goal. Just 36 seconds on the clock. And Adama Kanema have taken the lead here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is what we came for. And you can be very sure so many fans up in the stands had not settled down. And we had an opening goal already. Biniam Aiten scoring his first goal of the campaign for Itagasu and Dallas side. So volatile and can move to anywhere. This has been given away again to the edge of the area. Could be this the moment. Abeyu Kasaya saves again. Adama really, really moving forward. Andre Dawa struggling to contain that pressure. Yeah, I can see Elias Ulegas and Amari Bekele in full panic mode. Mazame Muhammad that uh, found that space. And, well, what is disappointing then for Dire Dawa is how he quickly went past Gadisa Mebrate. The whole defense in panic mode. Adame Mohamed doing very well this season already on four goals. Tasigeni Petros is the other. Petros takes it straight into the area looking for Biniam. That was a good ball but needed a save from the Ghanaian short stopper here. Then great goalkeeping from Kwame. You can see Kwame with a very good timing. Perfect. Puts his hand on it. Good movement. The defense again going to sleep. And the goalkeeper had to come out himself. That again is something they should talk about. You don't usually put a straight line on defense when the crosses are coming in. Sigeni floats one into the box. It's taken out by Desta Johannes. Gets a second bite at the cherry. That's a better ball. They're looking for options through the center. And there was a man at the far end. Not sure the Adama Kenema backline had an idea. And that should have been converted. That really should have been converted by Ayasule Gese. He's a central defender. He should know how to deal with area challenges like those. Rafael get at you playing at the edge of that box. Here he is getting a touch. Rafael try and look for a shooting space and tries to get it past the goalkeeper. That came off the crossbar. Still a bit of trouble for this Adama side and eventually it's cleared to safety now. So Rafael gets at you and almost got it past Kwame Bar. He actually did, but saved by the crossbar this time. And he now has started to get the chances. Uh, they simply need to take them away. You can see he saw the goalkeeper. He was very, very intentional. Keeper took too long, defense stayed too deep. William Solomon, Paul watching. William Solomon takes a shorter one through the center. Could this be the moment for Mesut Muhammad? Big chance, it's been picked up again. Adama still looking for space. This is now William Solomon! It's in, off the bench, and to the score sheet for William Solomon. As Adama now take a commanding lead in Diredawa. Oh wow, oh wow. What a take from the big man through the center to try and get it past Abeyu Kasai. Why should I not give that a standing of Asian Andrew? Out from the bench, came and served his purpose immediately. That was a definite good substitution, good vision from the coach, good tactical thinking, as we said earlier. I'm not sure they did it. Our side really smelled the danger so fast. Abeyu Kasai exposed when it was released to William Solomon again. Absolutely no chance as Adama takes a 2 0 lead here. Abdul Latif steps forward, right footed, brings one into the area to Elias Ali! Oh wow! Elias Ahmed had a huge chance to try and trouble the goalkeeper who eventually has to make an extra save. Fumbled his way around this one. Abdul Latif Mohammed with it. A shot comes in, and sometimes you do everything right, but the ball just won't go in. They get a corner for their efforts. And that was the last contribution from Elias Ahmed, who now makes way, missed by Wenderson. Everybody went right. Everything went right. Shot came in there from Elias Ahmed. What must they do to score here? The red and white celebrate. And everyone here in Didadawa will know that today just wasn't the day. 
in terms of performance itself, it's fair to say Adama have been the better side. They have beaten Diredawa by two goals to nil.